Hey everybody, I'm Caleb. I'm Sam. And I'm Will. And, and we, we are Working Title! Answer. Over Driver! <sighs> Guys, we're back with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This is Season 1, Episode 7. Seven. Something successor, sorrowful successor. I remember. I remember. Don't look. Sorrowful successor. You got it, guys. Last on, we had a sad send off for. Dang, what's his Blueford. name? Blueford. Blueford. We had a sad send off for Blueford, the mighty knight who changed his ways because JoJo shined the light of God, aka Hamon, into him. And now we got to fight big man. Thanks to Little Kid and Mr. Zeppelin, you might die. <gasps> so, to find out, you must leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, and if you want to stick around for more, you can be the first to get notified. Also, check out the Patreon, uh, Uncut, or you can get early access and get that before everybody else, too. We'll see you in the reaction. Punch it. Oh! Yeah. Come on. Yeah, and apparently everyone else who watches this doesn't get the silly words up at the front. We do. So, so sorry. Sorry. Just silly words, What are you guys bro? doing watching anime on a not-anime website? Because they do it illegally. Brad Pitt moment, seven years in Tibet. Shameless. That's a good movie. Shameless plug. Shameless? What, what? is happening? He was like, nah, I need to find that mask. Mm. The waves? I will, but you might not like what you see. Oh! The waves of his life. The cleanest dap up of all time. Oh, dude, I'm kind of like him right now. I got the headband on too. <laughs> An ancient hidden chamber that reeks of death. Damn it. The child will open the light. Yeah, it's definitely no! this one. Young lion. Aww. Why does that have to be cruel? He does not even look the same as the younger him. Jojo! <laughs> Like that shot. Looks like an Elder Scrolls boss. Ooh, he said he was gonna burn his wounds, right? So it's gotta be his arm, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get you a hype man like Speedwagon, man. He's like the best homie. He is the shit. Try this. It's a Tekken move right there. Oh no. God, he's got two of them. No. Not already. Ugh. Oh, he's bleeding. Speedwagon, do something. Already? Where's his cool hat? Oh! Why so soon? <laughs> no. Get him one last good breath. Bro, he just split him in half. What the... Do something, Speedwagon. Come on. Where's your hat? Come on, brother. <laughs> Throw the hat. I don't think that's going to do much, Caleb. It didn't work on Teenage Jojo. Jojo. Without any abilities. He, he caught it with his arm and then kicked him really hard in the face. No. What? <clears throat> oh. Can they combine souls? Soul tie? 
Oh, the handoff. Ah! What's his ultimate? It's your turn now. You too can be a yeah, hero. Yeah. Ultimate deep pass overdrive. Oh! No! <laughs> Pectoral buff. Oh, it's majestic, man. <gasps> He's old. <laughs> I mean, oh god! Woo! How? Tarukus. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Yo, what? I love that. That's his name. Okay. Oh, 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 this is true manliness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. This is, Yo! this is the new indomitable human spirit. <laughs> Too easy. Ooh. Oh! The most deadly Jitto chop known to man. Look at that stance! Who stands like that? In the depths of history. <laughs> Finally, he's got some Dio lines. Oh! oh shoot your teeth at him. You nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Oh damn. What the hell? That's crazy. He does look menacing. I like him. He has become the indomitable human spirit. Yeah. <laughs> How is he still alive? <laughs> Please <laughs> have. I have one last thing <laughs> I must tell you. Where are my ribs? Go to deal. Now you are what? Immortal? The one. Ultimate? The lion? Amazing. Now you are, now go. What does that mean? Damn. They've known each other for like three days. But I guess That's his whole life. Us, yeah. I guess his whole life has been built up to this point, so. <clears throat> I'll just pretend that they've been with each other for a year on this journey. Yeah, I mean, they did do some training and stuff, too, so. Uh, the next best. And to love is just good enough. <laughs> it's like the avatar except you get to choose this time yeah you get to self pick yeah. your candidate vote him into office I like that this is cute I wonder <laughs> this is so awesome I know it is <laughs> this is like really cute and I actually buy it just because all these guys are kind of sweethearts so do you think that he took on his like years too since he gave up his like life force that's what I feel like Jojo can live longer as well Oh boy. Yeah, no. Dio eating oh, that thing. Nice. You're a vampire, you're not allowed to touch that. Bro, whoa, look at all the items. Yeah, it's guys bat, bat people. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. What is she gonna do with the kid? She's gonna eat it? I feel like that's what's about to happen. Oh, but yeah. she 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 never made such promise. You suck, Dio. Yeah, what a fucking scumbag. We won't hurt the child, but you did. 
Uh, so clever. <laughs> Man. This guy's voice actor always plays the biggest like douchebag <laughs> characters. <laughs> oh, definitely not, bro. Yeah, she did it. Hell. <laughs> well, at least she's alive. Hey, by the way, probably shouldn't come back. Does his face change? Yeah. Damn, I felt that. I felt like something was up. Ugh. Ew, dude. He looks Ew. Like the... Oh! Ooh. Ah! He looks like the Zenetsu demon. Kill that thing. Ew. Zombie dog. I'm on. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Grab. Upgrade. Go boy. Zombie Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who Look is at that this? hair. I wonder if he is a <laughs> villain. <laughs> yeah. Dire. What was that? <laughs> I didn't even know what he just did there. It sounded like he popped his elbow out of his socket. Why is it slow? Is it slow? It looks fast. Uh, Double kick! This is real good. Thunder split attack. No shot. He went like this. Yeah. Down. He did the splits on purpose. I am Ningen. Human. <laughs> Bro. Goofy ass character. See, I actually thought he looked more of a friend than anything. Yeah. I mean. God. I wonder I'm if he's sorry. a homo and user. I'm sorry. He's still holding his cheek, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean My that. fault. Piss Who's this? Straight 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 Will A. Zeppelin. Mm. They are also homo and users. You guys showed up late. You showed up too late. He's dead. Who, who is it now? <gasps> it's uh, Mr. Tom the, the old Petty. guy. Tom Petty. He's alive Mr. somehow. Mr. Tibet. Wow, Tony Tom Petty. Petty. You are the great master we've heard about. Her. Sensei. He'll recognize the hand, perhaps. Feel it and can sense his apprentice's chi. No, he probably doesn't want to do the. Or yeah, you're right. He senses the aura of his apprentice. Uh -oh. Also, it does the wave thing. He would be able to like read his future. We got to all do it. Let's be the homies. Thank you. Everybody do it at home too. Damn it! I love Speedwagon. Speedwagon kept his hat. We're almost there, guys. Hell yeah, we got that objective. Let's go when we got a crew. Beeline to the castle. I'm sorry? <sighs> what? The sister. Alright, y'all. Episode seven. 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 Sorrowful successor versus the inheritor. Both are pretty tough. One's a bit more spoilery. Well, eh, both are whatever. Which one? Which Love name it. do you like better? Sorrowful successor. I like it, and then I think of the inheritor, and it sounds like a Halo mission. True. So I like it too. It's definitely a title from Halo. It's absolutely one. No. It's the name of a rank, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Love this episode, man. This is the heart. This is the heart of JoJo. I'm starting to see the heart of it. I, I'm falling in love with Speedwagon. Yeah, me too. I think I. Love I, him a lot. I love. I love his. Uh, <laughs> not to be a meme, a memer, but uh, 
the empath in him because it's genuine it's not just saying it i i like that he he was like crying on the battlefield for these people that like he really doesn't have any much stakes in the like he doesn't have to be here yeah there's not a lot of stakes for him other than kind of wanting to help out uh Ombre, uh, Mr. Jonathan, out of respect of being a gentleman. Like, uh, that's basically why he's here, but he's just, he's such a loving soul. How do you end up with a bunch of ruffians in, like, the second episode? Yeah, I know. It's weird to see that he was, like, in a street gang, but he's such a, like, a loving, heart on the sleeve, you know, character. It's I'll, just odd. I'll be pissed if it's, like, a trick. Oh, if he's because like, you, that's, that's just Ober Street, bro. Yeah, you giggled, and I was like, damn, am I being pranked right now? Am I being that's pranked just by Street, Speedwagon? You never know. Yeah, we don't know. You but could just you grow up wherever, and you can end up however, bro. He he grew up on the worst street in England or whatever, and he's a sweetheart, great person. It's true. Well, I was I wasn't because of where he grew up. I was judging based off the the company he was around and what his goal was. Yeah, he was hired by Dio, right? Initially. No, no, no. 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 He was just in the. Oh, he, he was just, just, he's just a, he was just being a dick in the street, oh, okay. fucking never people mind. and trying to rob him. I, you know, one thing I was gonna say is normally in anime mostly anime because I feel like they, they do it the most is uh, I don't I'm not a big fan of time jumps where you just have to like assume that relationships have grown but you know what I kind of buy it in this one just because like I don't know how long it's been if it's been a week if it's been a month that they've been walking it's definitely videos. been longer than a week I think um, but maybe it's just because of the cheery attitude that it's just like it's the, maybe it's the over over the top personalities, and maybe it's because we're not supposed to take it too too serious, even though they take the matter super serious. That I actually buy it. Yeah. It's a weird. Yeah, it's a weird uh, feeling I'm getting from it. Like it, it actually works. I don't, I don't know why, but in like yeah. a normal shows, if they try to sell that pitch, it doesn't really work too much for me. I. I think it's just because like the tone the episodes bring is why, like you said, like the. The show is seemingly not serious by the funny... I mean, like, you know, JoJo's standing there after he's, like, getting ready to fight... Uh, or did he cut off Tarkus's arm at this point? I don't know. But he's standing there like this. Right. Like, the goofiest pose in the world, and all of, like, the facial expressions and, you know, the typical, like, anime build-up. But then in the same instance, it's, like... It's very, like... You can tell it's intense. It's, like... Like you said, it's like from the heart. It's like a genuine, like, oh, I need to beat this guy because I have to avenge Baron. So, yeah, it has like real, not character, but you know what I mean. It's got like something to it, if that makes sense. Well, well even when uh, a Mister Zeppeli got dismembered, it was more jarring because it was so sudden, rather than me feeling like super hurt by it. But I actually felt hurt when uh, Speedwagon felt dismayed by like he was like crying in the corner and that hurt my heart because yeah. it's his homie already like they've already built a relationship some camaraderie between the, the bros on yeah. this trip between them I'm like damn that hurts yeah speed writing is solid so I feel it vicariously through his feelings I guess yeah. so that's why it helps a bit more rather than it just being like my own feelings towards it somebody that I met in episode 4 yeah. 3 episodes ago so um so good use at being effective, I suppose. I guess yeah. that's a that's a not a criticism, but um, yeah. So that's why I was t touching on that. I like the heart of this episode. Like even seeing the little kid cry, seeing uh, our one of our homies like upgrade today, and also all the all the all the homies actually hate Dio. So another reason to to join the gang. If you like if you like Dio, don't subscribe. Yeah. Or I, maybe, I or like Dio. Dio. Or do. Well, not yet. Come on. We'll give it time for him to develop. For now, we hate him. No, I like Dio. <laughs> Sorry, I was just going to say Caleb has, like, legitimately watched this, so it's kind of hard for him to not, you know, already right. have a love for Dio. Sure. But he's just yeah. so, like, unapologetically evil that it's, like, hilarious. It's like Saturday, like Saturday morning cartoon villain shit. Just yeah. like, <laughs> like, when he did this episode, he's like, all right, you, you're going to join me, and we're going to spare your baby. None of us will touch him. Just kidding. You're going to eat your baby. I had, like, my yo, fingers, I had my fingers crossed behind my back. Got you him. Don't get it. <laughs> Got his ass. Tricked him. <laughs> he, he literally is the definition of, oh, check this shit out. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Did you, did you see that Oh, right did you look at this? Oh, bro, Literally. let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something. But he takes it a step further and, like, 
rips your head off after he does it. Yeah. <laughs> and then makes you eat your child. And makes you eat a baby. <laughs> and then creates little puppy spawns oh, with, the, with the, top hat hair. I forgot about the human yeah. head puppy monkey thing. What, was like, what terrifying. was that? I, was, I don't boss. know. He was makes chimeras. What can he not do? That's really the genuine question at this point. Get what bitches, can, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think Tio probably oh, getting... My hand just exploded. Ew, what the hell was that? My, my like... <laughs> Front finger. On par with JoJo. JoJo has so many bizarre, like, dismemberment sounds in the show. Like, gro- grody. Yeah. They've cornered the market on fleshy noises. It's so yeah, gross. It's so odd, dude. And bone crunching, like, sounds. Uh, Jonathan got an upgrade today, and it was actually kind of awesome. He, he finally became the one that I assume, if not just myself, we have seen before. Like, that, I recognize this Jonathan. I thought he he was a uh, um, a different character, but this is Jonathan. It's so confusing when you see like fifty JoJo characters and you have no idea who they're associated with. But yeah, he finally has the Joe Star color scheme. Right, I like the fit that he has today. The shoulder pads. It's so like cool. He brought over the rugby outfit. Yeah, it's aesthetically this. pleasing. Yeah, and he's got like the adventure backpack one, so he kind of looks like. For some reason, it gives me the, like, Zelda character vibe. Yeah. Because he's got, like, a knapsack yeah. on his back now. Yeah. To me, it reminds me of Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja That's Turtles. pretty good. Yeah. yeah, he does have Casey Jones, like, like fit. Like, 80s... Like, 80s uh, action hero aesthetic? Like, This was written in the 80s, right? This was in the 80s, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it feels like very last action hero kind of thing, like some of those random kids' movies. I yeah. like it, though. Jonathan is cool. based off of... Uh, the main character of Fist of the North Star, f- splash a picture of that main character up there. Literally, they look exactly, pretty much alike, but it's different authors. I've heard of that. I it's like one of the. F- it looks I like. think it's one of like the first like shonens because it's like mm. the f- one of the first animes where it's like a character getting stronger throughout the show and like constantly fighting. It's like okay. it's really cool. Yeah. Pretty old though. It's like seventies or eighties. Interesting. Uh. I already have a, a feeling about this show, like a, a theory. I don't feel like a little bit spoiled because of the OPs that we got, but now I feel like something's starting to make sense in my mind. The the whole Jonathan feeling very familiar, but not being Erwin Smith. Oh, you mean like there's going to be another? I don't know how it's going to function, yeah. but uh, I didn't think of it until in the editing process when we were watching him fist fight Dio, and we made the... He already has the moves of Jotaro. So is Jotaro him, or is it another guy that he gets? He passes on the Haman to, just like today's episode? Yeah. Because with this whole, like, passing the torch thing, um, it could make a little bit more sense if there's going to be multiple, like, main characters in this show. Yeah. Like the girl and whoever else. Yeah, I mean, up. like, that's kind of the vibe I got from the JoJo's intros that we watched. And I mean, also just knowing that there's like a hundred thousand characters that all seem to be from like different eras, seasons, right. whatever, that it was going to be some type of like passed down type of thing. Right. Um, but with that interdimensional element, like. Yeah. Or is it like <laughs> multiversal? <laughs> Can you pass it to somebody in another dimension kind yeah. of thing? Like, is Jotaro supposed to be. Jonathan in another life, or is it just somebody from this life that gets transferred? Does this inter- is it is there actually an interdimensional thing, or are the openers kind of just blowing smoke yeah. as openers do? It's just hard because it's a little consistent in the OPs that stuff yeah. like that happens, so it makes me wonder. Yeah, I mean, also like Hamon is like seemingly like. Buddhist, so like, are they pulling from some other like other aspects of Eastern religion of like Doctor reincarnation Strange. or yeah something you know along those lines? Yeah. <laughs> My Eastern lores thoroughly through movies. Yeah, I, I am not well versed. So I don't know. To make a statement on anything. The other problem is I don't want to research and then just be like, oh, I found the no. whole JoJo lore in like ancient Buddhism. Yeah. Very uh, the Buddhist book, holy book, mentions the Joe Stars. <laughs> the Dalai Lama is like the yes, Dalai Lama. I, like, I know Joe I am Joe so. Star. Yeah. I am the most recent incarnate of JoJo. <laughs> he goes Hamon Overdrive and just like shoots a hole in a wall or something. Yeah. Also, love the locations. I loved where we started in today's episode. The location of 
uh, like Tibet, pit. like up on top oh. of that, like oh, yeah. the towers. Very, I forgot to about Tibet. And then, wire walking. That was cool. that was cool. And him just like talking about, hey, I want to know like what my pa- my my future holds for me. Classic Final Destination. He wanted to know like the exact scenario so that he could, and that makes sense too. So he can prepare his purpose, and when he feels like it's heading in this direction, he knows to start to wrap up, and it gives him a little heads up to pass on, like today. Yeah. Like it felt like this was you know he and even last episode they kind of like he felt like he was coming into his own for his final moment. Yeah. It's cool. That makes sense. Um, but what a way to go out, though. Whiffing oh, an attack yeah. and then getting ripped in half. <laughs> and then still, like... And yeah. then crawling Holding your on. armless and legless like, body over and being like, take my energy, I'm dying, please. Yeah. It, was well, a, the, yeah. it was a brutal death, but also he, like, survived for a while. Yeah, yeah. he did. He's he sitting there with no limbs. He's time. just like, Jojo, you are, you are the... You're him, bro. Yeah, you're him. The only thing Kill I Dio. <laughs> <laughs> Kill Dio. Destroy the map. Yo, I'm getting real sleep. He's gonna be back next episode. The only thing I didn't understand though With is robot that legs. he brought up in the last episode that he couldn't break metal. Like Haman only really worked through like bricks and stuff. So why was it that he was able to transfer his energy and give his like secret ability to Jonathan, and then he was just able to like rip off the metal gun because he got so he got so ripped that he got really strong and just did it. That was brute strength. That was not Hamon. He lit up though when he did. It could no, be that was just animation. Come on now. <laughs> it could be multiple things. He gained yeah. his life force too. So if it's not like he just gained a hundred years, he he gained the strength is, of the yeah. strongest Hamon user. How old is uh, Jonathan? Like twenty or something? Probably. So imagine twenty, but now you have the life force of. Another person at the age of twenty, yeah. you're shredded, that makes and sense. you're inspired and motivated. I don't know, adrenaline. You can't break metal. I wish that we had something with metal so we could test our strength as a group right now. That's a oh, it was a metal pillow. Yeah, sucks to be the big guy. Tarkus got cooked. And we uh, met a couple other big fellas that walked in from Zombie Town. Uh, Dyer and Striso and Striso. Tom Petty pulled up. Dyer, Striso, and Tom Petty. Three characters and one returning. Yeah, that's exciting. And potential fodder for Dio? Or do we commit to liking these people? Will they die next episode? More than likely, probably, huh? I don't know. But, uh,. Well, I, gonna be, so you guys wait to find out. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean that's basically yeah. it. Dio's a punk ass bitch, so make sure you leave a like if you like him. Subscribe to the channel if you're one of the homies and you want to stick around for more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Comment down below your thoughts on today's episode, and we'll see you whenever the next one comes out. We'll punch it. Bow. Bow.